Hey guys, um, we're doing a little more serious video today, trying to get into true crime, that kind of thing. So we're covering the Lori Vallow case. We're gonna do a whole series on it, but right now we're just gonna kind of do like a brief synopsis. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys are here due to the human remains that were found on Chad Daybell's property in Rexburg, Idaho on June 9th. The human remains were confirmed by family members to belong to Tylee Ryan and JJ Vallow. It's really tragic news to find out, but it's also kind of closure for what's been going on. Lori and Chad have been held on lower charges in the meantime, so now that there have been remains found and identified and confirmed on his property, their uh, charges have been now upgraded. So we're gonna kinda dive into the timeline leading up to that. Today is July 17th. According to Chad Daybell and Lori Vallow, the world is going to end in five days. So five days from now, the world is gonna be over. So you guys better get your affairs in order um, if you believe in that kind of thing. This whole thing is so nuts. Um, this will just be like a brief summary, but just to give you an idea, we're gonna be covering zombies, the Apocalypse, Oprah Winfrey, and Baby Daddies. Lori had five husbands, which like, damn! But like, not in a bad way, like damn girl, get it. So we'll start with husband number three, Joseph Ryan. That's Tylee Ryan's biological father. So apparently he was like this big lady killer back in the day. They met in 2001. They were married from 2001 to 2004. Um, it's unclear if, I think they had a tumultuous relationship because they were married for a short period of time. In that period of time, they created this beautiful baby, Tylee Ryan, and um, then an ensuing custody battle happened for like the rest of her life, basically. Well, the rest of his life, because I believe he died of, he dies of a heart attack in 2018. So Joseph Ryan passed away. It's Tylee's bio dad. A lot of players in this case. <laughs> On to husband number four. Lori marries Charles Vallow in 2006. They adopt Joshua J.J. Vallow. This was kind of a complicated relationship. So J.J. is the biological grandson of <clears throat> Charles's sister, Kay. So... I don't know exactly how that makes them related, but when he was born, he was born into like a bad, uh, not so well situation. He had autism. They And Lori was such a good mom in person. And that's kind of a testament to like who she was and who she has been her whole life. She, um, and like what the hell happened these past couple of years. But they thought, you know, she that the baby, JJ, would do better in Lori and... Charles's care. It's complicated because Charles and Chad, they're like almost the same name. So there's Charles Vallow, who she was married to for like 20 years. She has JJ with, and I would imagine Tylee then kind of like adopted him as like her father figure. 2014, the family all moves to Hawaii. Lori, Charles, Charles Vallow, still alive, 2014. Lori, Charles, JJ, Tiley all moved to Hawaii. By all accounts, like everything's normal, but Lori starts to get into this like doomsday prepper guy named Chad Daybell. Keep this guy in mind, he's important. Because if you remember from the beginning of this tale, um, which is very hard to believe, that's where Tiley and JJ's human remains were found on his property in Rexburg, Idaho. All of this has been going on between three states. So they're in Phoenix, Arizona. They're in Hawaii, like Maui. Kauai, I think is where they were, Kauai. And they're in Rexburg, Idaho, which like Rexburg, Idaho just comes from out of nowhere for me. Like, I don't know what the hell else is in Idaho except for this story. So <clears throat> she gets obsessed with, Lori gets obsessed with um, Chad Daybell. And then she ends up meeting him in 2018. And this is where shit gets nuts. So 
She and Chad Dable believed that they were prophets and that they were to collect 144,000 souls to be saved by July 22nd, 2020, when the world's going to end in a few days from now. So again, get your affairs in order, people. I don't know what I don't know what you got going on with the quarantine, but just kiss your babies, hug your fur babies, go swimming, go lay in the sun. Um, and then they actually classified people as like light and dark. Like there's like email exchanges between them in which Chad actually um, rates people on a lightness and darkness scale. Darkest person in the universe? I know you're asking yourself, who? Who is the darkest? Who could possibly, some crazy serial killer monster, someone who would kill children and bury them? No, Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey is the darkest one. Like, it's almost like they picked the person who was like the nicest person and they were like, she's gotta be faking it, she's evil. So, also saying out loud the darkest person in the universe is Oprah Winfrey feels racist coming out of my lips because she, girl, you ain't even that dark. <laughs> so, they think Chad and Lori in this podcast, it's a whole podcast of people called Preparing the People. I don't know if it's still out there and you can Google it, but if you can, maybe don't. I don't know if we want to give them like foot traffic or whatever traffic you call that on the internet, the internet traffic. They think people become zombies. And what that means is that whoever you are, like me, I'm Aaron. If I were a zombie, Aaron wouldn't be here anymore. I'd just be like a shell of a human zombie Aaron. So whatever you do to me is fine. Like if you kill zombie Aaron, that's totally cool because whatever happens on this earthly plane doesn't matter and whatever we're moving on to is bigger and better. So they really firmly believe this and I think that's why they're so casual about it and they really believe the world's gonna end on July 22nd. They're gonna see the kids that they killed and be like, sorry we dismembered your zombie corpses and burned them and then buried them in this fire pit and then pretended they were a raccoon. That's like a whole thing you guys. We're gonna get real deep into it in the series that we do. It's super fucked up what they did. So anyways, yeah, it's possible they believe that what happens on this earthly plane matters so little, and that's why they're so casual about what's going on here. Just want to clarify, that's not normal beliefs. They are LDS Mormons, and that's not at by any standard a normal LDS Mormon belief. This is very, like, some sacrilegious shit they're up to. So she prophesies many people's deaths, including her ex-husband. That's right, Charles Vallow, he's dead now. Guess who killed him? Lori Vallow's brother named Alex Cox, who killed him in self-defense, which like no one can prove. The only person who was there was Tylee and she um, is dead now, so she can't do it. But there's plenty of body cam footage of Charles Vallow, like reporting Lori Vallow to the police, like the local Chandler police, and then her just charming the pants off of everybody. Like she really was a charming person. And it almost goes to show you how manipulative some people can be. And you cannot always like take people for their word or like trust them. It's really kind of scary. So yeah, she prophesized people's deaths. She told Charles Vallow he was a zombie and that like angels were gonna come carry his corpse away or something like that. Like she told him some fucking crazy nut job shit. Nick, I have in my notes, Nick Schneider, question mark, LMAO. There's a huge question mark here for me because there's a demon named Nick Schneider. And it's unclear to me if that's like the demon that took over Lori's body or that's the demon that's in charge of taking care of other people's bodies. But it was a very like earthly fleshed out name for a demon, Nick Schneider. So, yeah, 2019, Lori's brother Alex Cox kills Charles Vallow in self-defense. I mentioned that what happened was Charles Vallow came to pick up JJ, who's there now they share custody with him. He's their autistic child. He's been very worried about him. He's reported um, a lot of police cases. He tried to get Lori um, checked out psychologically, but the police just like really weren't having it. They almost like laughed it off and joked with her about it. So there's again, body cam footage that we could possibly cut in here and see. So 2019, that happens, kills him in self-defense. Lori then moves to Rexburg, Idaho and marries Chad Daybell in a secret ceremony in the Mormon temple, which is like the holiest of holies. You know, it's like a very, um, it's unclear if they're, 
legally married, but what they did was definitely against the Mormon religion and all, basically like sacrilege. Chad, by the way, was already married to a woman named Tammy Daybell who died peacefully in her sleep um, of natural causes at the age of 49, which is like... That's not old at all, you guys. I'm sure some of you guys are like 10 and you're like, holy shit, someone, she's so old. But like 49 is not old. People don't die of natural causes at 49. Her husband was like, nah, no thanks. We don't need an autopsy. Because apparently in Idaho, that's an option. Like you can request no autopsy, which like, why would that even be a thing? I digress. They've since exhumed her body and like the public in general is waiting to hear what the results of that are. I'm sure law enforcement already knows, but they're like not released. They're holding that one close to the chest. JJ was last seen on September 23rd playing on a like doorbell cam footage in the little courtyard of their apartments. He was playing with another little boy. He looks so cute, like just so rambunctious, like doing his little thing. He was only seven years old. He would have been eight in May, but as we now know, he did not make it to his eighth birthday, which as I'm saying out loud is like the first time I'm actually like really like it's really hitting me. And Tylee was last seen September 8th, 2019 at Yellowstone National Park. Everybody thinks that um, Alex Cox, Lori Vallow's brother, if you remember, who is now dead, um, who also died of natural causes, um, everybody kind of thinks that he is the one who was involved with the killing of the children and just kind of like Lori's hitman in general. And that's the main consensus right now. And they're thinking that's why they can't really like nail down charges for Lori or Chad right now. But they have escalated their charges. Um, it's really like an awful case, and this has just been a brief summary, including zombies, Oprah, and um, a lot of really sad info. So leave comments of like stuff that you guys have, like any questions, anything I might have missed. I know I probably missed a lot. Um, we're just getting started with this case, um, and it actually kind of hits close to home because we're in Phoenix. So we're in the area where Lori lived for a period of time. And um, we just kind of want to get information out to you guys. So leave a comment, like, subscribe, check out our other videos. And thanks for watching, you guys. And remember to stay weird because the truth is out there.